Madden Football is the home of Super Bowl 57. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Bills and the Bucks, and it's all up next. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here, as it'll be the AFC champion Buffalo Bills taking on the champions from the NFC, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brandon gone alongside Charles Davis, and Charles, the Bills have been a team trending upwards the last few years. They did take a couple of devastating losses to Casey in the playoffs the last two seasons, but here they are seeking that elusive first ever Super Bowl title. And remember the history of this franchise, partner. They had been there four times in the 90s. Super Bowls 25, 26, 27, 28 without a victory. Somewhere, their quarterback, Jim Kelly, their runner, Thurman Thomas, their head coach, Marlon Levy, they have to be smiling watching this team go for their first Super Bowl title. Meanwhile, for the Buccaneers, it's just absolutely astonishing that they'd be back a second time in three years. But Tom Brady at it again, three seasons in Tampa, two Super Bowl appearances, and I think we can officially say the decision to unretire, probably a pretty good one. Brandon, he must have really been invigorated by those 40 days he was retired. I think you and I need to try that as well. Amazing how one guy can completely change the culture and path of an entire franchise. But let's be clear, this has been a team effort to get them back here. Now comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at 6'5". That's Josh Allen. Truly the face of this Buffalo franchise and totally immersed with the Buffalo community. Josh Allen understands what the Buffalo Bills fans are looking for. That elusive first Super Bowl trophy. And he has the opportunity to bring it home through his talents. Play action. Now it's Allen. And oh, right away, he lost the football. He can't get him down. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. To the air. Allen. And that is incomplete. That is their first third down try of the game. And clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news. They've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Here's the punter, Martin, now to kick it away. Play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. He's at the 30. 10. And he returns it to the end zone. A fumble recovery touchdown for the Bucs. Brandon, this is the Super Bowl. A touchdown scored in any game is big, and this one is massive. Suck up on for the point after. And that one gives the Bucs a 7 to nothing lead. The scoop and score always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. A 
And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Allen going to throw. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards that time and a Bills first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Allen now on first down. Finding Knox there, complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. And meanwhile, Allen's throw here, taken in by Knox. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Dawson Knox, 32 yards. And the Bulls are an extra point away from tying this Super Bowl at seven. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. It's out of pass on for the extra point attempt. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. So I'll leave it at 7 now as they kick it away. Take it at about the 1. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Always fun to get a peek at Tom Brady as he gets in place to command this offense for Tampa Bay. I just think we thought we had seen the final chapter of Tom Brady's historic career when he retired during the offseason, but there was a voice inside of him that said, you've got unfinished business, and he certainly did. Here he is now in his 11th Super Bowl appearance. That this is going to be it for him, the Super Bowl is the only place a career like his should end. Brady going to bring the butts up with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll check this one off to Fournette. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that'll bring up second down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude, and you know, I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to, and he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed, and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. Reach out to other coaches who've been there before. Find out how they handled winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all those things. And then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there and give your team the best chance to win. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. Here's Brady to throw. This is caught by Evans. 
And he'll be brought down at the 27. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. They were watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. Fournette, a first down carry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right, It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage. And frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. His first catch in his Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. Inside handoff down to Fournette. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now Brady to Evans on the slam. And the Bucs are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Leonard Fournette, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs have taken the lead. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Extra point try now for Sucko. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the man who finished it off with a run into the end zone, Leonard Fournette. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And the Buccaneers will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Partner, I think this one will arrive very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here as that will take us to the end of the first quarter play. One quarter done and three more to play here in Super Bowl 57. 14-7 is the score. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the date on the calendar we circle every year. Super Bowl Sunday. Brandon Garden, Charles Davis here with you as we get set to begin quarter two. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Out of the pistol. It's Fournette. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They'll run it again with Fournette. A short game here, maybe a yard to the 29. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And Fournette trying to power his way forward, but I don't think he got there. Call it no game that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not 
a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that his defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. So Brady departs and on it's Ryan Suckup for the Buccaneer field goal. And this will be a 45-yard attempt. Suckup's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to They already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And the Bills getting set to go. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football, and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Allen. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. On the move past the 40. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. Well, fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find him at the wide receiver position, and that was special there. And sometimes you see big plays develop on a route like this, a slam route, and the object, very simple. Get the ball to your receiver in stride. This one was right on the money. He didn't miss a beat, and then it's off to the races, and there he goes. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Operating from the red zone now. Allen going right back to Knox and again a completion. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a real priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll try and run for this with Singletary. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Didn't yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short, definitely was a great time to dial one up. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And they run here with Singletary, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it will be second down. On the field, they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on their early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. But they're certainly not neglecting their run duties as well as they ate up the blockers in front and allowed the secondary to get home. Yeah. 
Allen now on third and goal. Being chased out left. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bills are back within a score. That's a tough one there defensively because look at the stops they got on first and second down and it's first and second and goal. And then on third down, they cover the receivers, but they leave an alley open for him to find, and he does. That is frustrating. You do almost everything right, and he still ends up in the end zone. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it was Josh Allen using his legs to polish things off. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Yeah, they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. He's got a man complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. Now carry there for Fournette as he's able to work his way for a gain of about five. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Brady. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you put a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. So Brady and the Bucs need to work a little magic third and long after that last sack. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. They exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball. And that one was picked off. Singletary to get the drive started. And some room to work. An anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. With that, let's take a look at the next gen stats for Buffalo in that first half. And I can imagine the halftime discussions are about how can we improve the running game? They have not had success so far, and it's reflected on the scoreboard. Meanwhile, for the Bucs, they too didn't do a whole lot in terms of rushing efficiency in that first half, as you can tell by the numbers there. Both teams with some extra time to prepare during this long halftime break, but we're about ready to restart the second half of Super Bowl 57. So let's get back out to Arizona and Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Fields it right around the goal line. 
And they were ringing him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Mike Evans in the Tampa offense about to set up shop. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Throwing again on second down. Brady over the middle complete. It's Evans. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Up the gun, Fournette. And a fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady finding Evans here, going across the middle of the field. On third down, Fournette. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. Well, love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take him the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy. Always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? On first and 10, here's Brady. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Brady's throw there complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Brady down a throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket. And he got enough for the first. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read of how they want to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots. And right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's a give to Fournette. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 48 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Now a play fake, Brady. He finds his target, it's Evans. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A good pick up there, 21 yards. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. <laughs> Sneak it, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Tom Brady scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Buccaneers take the opening kickoff in the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you've taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. But a big-time drive in that situation. And he's got it. So the try for two is successful, and that puts their lead up even further. Touchdown to kick it away. 
And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that will lead you into bigger errors. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Third quarter action in Super Bowl 57. Here's a second and 10. Throwing now is Hallam. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. I don't know, he had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. No, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. My mental focus. Yeah, level. that's true. got to stay with it. That's true. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it, he loses it, somehow the ball finds its way back to him. A tone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Brady to Evans that time. First down, Tampa. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. A handoff to Fournette. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. To throw is Brady. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Jair Elam makes a pick. There he goes, left side. 30, 10, 5, and he is going to score. It's a pick six and a pick. Touchdown. Well, this defense, they've been terrific all year, and they come through with a pick six here on the game's biggest stage. Perfect descriptor there because we have seen this time and time again. This defense, the ability to take the ball away from teams, they definitely have a nose for the football, and it pays off again on that play. So after the INT, it's Allen, and he's got it. So they try for two successful, and with it, they're back within a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet and said, go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Brady and the Bucks now with a first and 10 at their own 23. 
After the pick six, they go right back to the air. Looking deep for Julio. They've got his man complete. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Just one more quarter remains in the season-long race for the Lombardi Trophy here in Super Bowl 57 from Glendale. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And there's just one quarter that remains in this edition of the biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, as we get set for the fourth quarter. Now, meanwhile, the throw by Brady knocked away incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. He'll drop to throw. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Throwing is Brady on third down. Looking in zone for Jones. And he holds it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Julio Jones. 36 yards. And the Bucs are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. And that's certainly an important touchdown there and makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Super Bowl trailing by seven here in the fourth. A pivotal, pivotal moment in this football game. Allen now on first down. Caught right side, Davis. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard game there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. To the air, Allen, right back to Davis, it's complete. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll leave him with a third and two. Now come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Now on third and two, they're gonna like to throw with Allen. A quick throw gonna be caught by Diggs. And he is gonna have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. To throw, it's Allen. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 36. A good pick up there of 20 yards. The 
drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Now Allen again. This is brought in by the tight end, Tommy Sweeney. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Play action. Allen under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Levante David. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. Allen going to throw. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. The kick by Bass is good, and that'll bring him back within four. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the floor of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. This take it in at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So out come the Bucks now. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. Running on first down is Fournette, but he can only manage a yard or so before he's brought down. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Brady. A pass underneath for Fournette. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the boat of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try to loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. And he goes out right around the 39. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. to throw, it's Brady. And he'll get that to Fournette, complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Brady. And he can't get a throw off, he's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. They'll try and run some clock with Fournette. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Now Brady. They'll swing this out to Fournette. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This will get the lead up to seven. And 
this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. Charles, even as long field goals become more and more common, this is still very rarefied air. Only just over 20 field goals have been kicked from 60 yards or further, and you can add his name to the list now. And as calm as he tried to present himself, there's no doubt there were some nerves as he lined up to attempt that kick. But once the ball was snapped, he just swept the leg, and boom, over the crossbar. Allen and the Bills now, down by seven. Just over a minute, 40 to play. And they have to have a touchdown to level this Super Bowl as they come up on first down. Now Allen. Pass caught by Crowder. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Allen. That's taken in by Knox. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Allen. Crowder's got it over the middle. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Allen. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for nine. Throwing is Allen. On the catch, it's Crowder. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Now Allen. Flush to his right. This is caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. 14 yards at a time for number 14. Well, how about keeping your head about you in this situation? No more timeouts. Finds a way to get out of bounds. Now they can breathe a little bit as they contemplate what to do on the next down. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. And now the Bucs decided to take a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Back to throw. Allen. And his ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. He has multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect play on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we may very well be headed over to him. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Well, Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And part of you and I both know the safe calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. To throw is Brady. Airing this one out for Evans. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Final whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game.
So the Bills going to be the first to get it as we are back underway here in overtime. And we will not see a return to start overtime. It'll come out to the 25-yard line. And yeah, here come the Bills. And CD, we get to see the debut of the brand new postseason overtime rules. Now, as everybody is learning, both teams are going to be guaranteed an offensive possession. So they might get the ball first here, but a touchdown does not right away win the game. And we saw many marker games along the way that sparked a lot of conversation. But the Buffalo-Kansas City game in the 2022 playoffs, that really brought about this rule change. What an amazing game, a true classic. Ended in overtime without Buffalo getting a shot with the football, and the people didn't like that at all. So starting this season, if you make the playoffs, you'll get a chance to answer if the other team scores first. And that way, you get a chance to keep a great game as well as your hopes are as you chase the big class. The temptation to go for it probably there always is, especially in overtime. Got to punt it, though. I think you're right. I think that you absolutely have to punt it away and trust your defense, especially put a little field position here. But you're so right about the temptation. Another way to satisfy that, though, Line up in punt formation, fake it. That's another way to get it done. It'll be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. That last defensive stand, and that is the defensive stand of the season. I mean, you get it on this stage in overtime of the Super Bowl, and now you set your offense up here, Charles. All they need is a field goal and their world champs. Agreed, partner. And if I'm calling plays on offense right now, I'm looking at my play sheet, and I'm looking for what plays give the ball to my best players right now. How do they touch it, and who do I trust with the football in this situation? Big time trophy on the line, championship on the line. Four yards remain for second down. A shotgun give to Fournette. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 67 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go, sometimes a thing of beauty. Oh, he's thinking end zone for Evans. And it's caught! Touchdown! They win the Super Bowl! We see this run all the time, but when it's well executed, it's a beauty. And it feels like the fade takes forever to develop, like that ball is just hanging in the air. And the reason why is that the receiver is trying his best to work the defender inside and give himself space to fade away from him and catch the football, and that's exactly what happened there. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have won the Super Bowl, and they will hoist the Lombardi Trophy to cap an amazing season. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way. Didn't have to face some adversity in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it.